All right, welcome back to Learn Wire, and this is our video number four uh, for our niche website case study. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Any of you that are tuning in for these videos, hope it's valuable to you. Uh, some of you that are advanced uh, niche website builders, then obviously this is none of this is really new information uh, for you. Um, although some of the ways that I do things, maybe you'll, you'll learn a new way of doing things. Um, and then for those of you that really um, have not built your first website, uh, hopefully this information will help you to take action and take that next step to actually creating a website. Uh, so that I mean, you're not going to be able to make money uh, online or be successful in your business if you don't build a website. So you want to be able to take action. So hopefully that's what this series is helping you do. Uh, so what are we going to be doing and covering in this video? So our agenda is we're going to be, uh, be doing keyword research for our first state. Obviously, this is an auto detailing uh, website where we're going to give national information for all the different states. We're obviously going to st uh, start with some of the top states. Um, I live over here on the West uh, Coast, so in the Southwest. So obviously, I'm naturally going to go with the states that I know the most, uh, which is uh, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, California, Arizona, and so forth. Uh, and then we'll probably work our way up Northwest. I used to live in Oregon, uh, actually Washington, but real close to Portland. And so I'll probably go with Washington and Oregon next as well, cover the West Coast, and then start moving our way to the east side of the states. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing keyword research. Uh, this is important step. Uh, a lot of some people will teach you uh, not to use keyword research tools. Um, it's going to be your personal preference or choice. Um, I like to have some data to go off of uh, in order to make decisions, see what's actually being searched for in the search engines. Um, there's a lot of different keyword tools that we could use. Um, I suggest using Uber Suggest for a free account. They also have a lifetime deal for a few hundred bucks, or they have a very low monthly cost at around ten dollars a month, I believe. So Uber suggest if you're on a budget or you want something free, Uber suggest will get the job done. It does a really, really good job. It's probably the best uh, tool uh, that's the cheapest or free option that can come even close to uh, Ahrefs or SEMrush. So I'll just say that. So um, obviously oh, I'm going to use Ahrefs uh, in this tutorial, but um, it is uh, a minimum hundred dollars a month for that tool. It is not necessary to build a website. Um, you do not have to have Ahrefs, but it is a really nice tool to have uh, because they have the biggest database of keywords, billions of keywords. So you you can be pretty confident that when you use Ahrefs that you are getting um, a really uh, giant amount of information and the largest pool of keywords to go for. Um, also, they have the largest backlink database. So uh, they're able to uh, decipher if uh, what the difficulty level is for keywords. Um, and then there's also other things that we could do too, um, real quick. Before I uh, jump in and show you a couple of the tools, um, I wanted to just show this little graph I had made uh, before I actually started work on the site and before I made uh, started uh, doing anything to the home page. Uh, let's go see what the home page looks like of our site right now. Uh, so this is what the home page is. Obviously, it still has the theme on here, right? Uh, but we are going to be turning it into something really cool. I did slap up a logo just for fun, auto detailing report. This will get us by until we start getting 10,000 plus um, searches or uh, visitors to our site. Then we can worry about getting a professional logo made, but we're going to leave it with that. Pretty basic. And come into here to the site and let's see where I made a test page. Here's a test home page. Um, we're just going to go and do a preview of this real quick. And this is what um, I have for the homepage just to start um, as something that it's going to look like. Um, obviously, I'm just working on it and sampling it out. But that plugin, that premium plugin, go back and watch video three because I actually purchased a premium plugin for $12 a year. And it allows us to create these really cool um, images for categories. Notice down here in the left hand side, when I hover over one of these, it's autodetailingreport.com uh, forward slash category forward slash California. So when someone clicks on here and we have 10 articles in California, it's going to go take them right to it. So it's going to help uh, nav uh, people with navigation. It's going to help Google crawl our site better and know what's going on with our site. Um, I think it looks really good to spend a little bit of time on the thumbnails and you can actually um, build out a pretty nice looking um, site structure right here. So um, this is what um, I had mapped out uh, right here. Uh, so obviously we're going to put the logo right here and then we're going to have our menu right here. Uh, and then maybe something that can help trigger the search engines, you know, something about national um, top ranked uh, services by state, something about our website right here. Okay. And then here's uh, what we're talking about with the categories. 
Um, all these categories right here are what you're seeing right here. Okay, so we are, and then here's the logo right here. Here's the menu. We're gonna put some type of paragraph and navigate people. Might need to put an explanation right here. You know, click on any of the images below to be taken to the top articles for that state, something like that, okay? So um, I just go to this, uh, go to any whiteboard, free out whiteboard uh, creation online uh, site and you can map out what you want your uh, homepage to look like and we want it to be all about the navigation we want people to go there and then click on most likely they're going to be <clears throat> trying to find their state real fast and they're just going to go and they're going to click boom and it's going to take them over to uh, so they can get to uh, the the information that they're looking for very quickly okay so on to keyword research i may have to do an update but i'm going to go into keyword atlas right here and i've shown you can go I will leave a link to my keyword atlas, a full demo and review. But basically, yep, I need to download the new version real quick. No problem. So this tool is constantly being updated. So that's really good. It has a really top um, a de developer that has really, really good um, SEO tools that they create. And I'm just going to go ahead and say next. And this is a keyword atlas. Like I said, go click the first link below to go check it out. I'm, we're going to launch this, but this tool goes out to any search engine that you want. And, um, in real, uh, real time, it's going to go out and search for keyword keywords, um, that we, that are actually being searched for in the search engine right now. Okay. So it, this tool is like going to Google and just picking up a new tab here and saying, um, best auto detailing. And right here, you can see what naturally comes in my location is best auto detailing Albuquerque because I live near Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, and so uh, this is what people are searching in in my area. They're actually searching that term in and then they're getting, you know, the best 10. This is what we want to do um, right here. Now, Yelp is ranking right there. But even if we can come up here and rank right underneath them, then this site is going to be successful, right? So here's those all those top searches, and then there's related searches right here. But this tool is going to take it a step further because best auto de detailing Albuquerque, mobile auto detailing in Albuquerque, that is actually searched for. So anything that searches uh, shows up in this box right here means that people actually search for it because Google is telling us that these search terms are in here. Okay, so what this tool does is we'll go to Keyword Atlas, and just for fun, let's do the same thing. Let's go best auto detailing. And I wanna say um, Arizona, and hopefully it will find a bunch of different, I'm just gonna push start, and it's gonna go out there and find all the different cities, and check this out, all the different cities, um, all the different, uh, like Tucson, Scottsdale, uh, is there gonna be, hopefully there's gonna be flag uh, Flagstaff, so here are some of the keywords that it found for us. You can also go over here and click on related uh, keywords and search by um, different search engines as well. So what we could do is we could actually copy all these keywords and uh, go and throw them into a tool like Ahrefs to see um, which ones right here um, are maybe worth going for. Get the search volume on them. So this is a good starter tool to do keyword research with. Uh, best auto detailing. And we could also go... I'm going to just say best auto detailing Scottsdale and we're going to say start and see if it pulls up anything even more for us. So this tool is really, really good if you're on a budget and you want a good keyword research tool. Um, there is ways also in the tutorial on how to get the search volume into this tool. Um, and essentially this tool is like 37 bucks or something like that. So you can click on the li uh, link below and it'll take you to it. Um, if you are interested in picking up this tool. So here's Scottsdale. This is what's really cool. All these different keywords right here are all just Scottsdale. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add a filter right here so we can copy these selected keywords. Then we can come in here to Ahrefs, log in real quick, and go to the Keywords Explorer. And then we can paste those keywords in that, we've, that the software found that are all Scottsdale, right? And then we can say Search. And it's going to pull up the data for those keywords and then also do some more suggestions, hopefully. So we can see that there's definitely 10 search volume for these. So these are the more popular keywords right here. These ones right here would be secondary type keywords. I accidentally throw San Diego in there. Uh, so you can do your keyword research like that. Uh, maybe um, we'll pick one, two, three. We'll add these. I'm going to say new list and we're going to say... Auto detailing report, we're gonna create our list here, okay? 
Um, and then we're going to go back over. I'm just going to go to Keyword uh, Explorer again. We added some. And then I'm going to go over here and just say Auto Detailing Arizona. I'm just going to pull those two in and push search. And then we can go over to matching terms or related terms. And uh, we'll pull in another uh, couple hundred. And then another thing that I like to do is um, because this particular website, I believe we can monetize it by the cost per click, then um, we're going to, I'm going to want to see what cost per click um, items there are or keywords there are. So uh, we have all those right there and look at the keyword difficulty. So they're all low search volume keywords right here, right? But these would all be really good to go after, right? Because they have high cost per clicks. They do, a lot of them have at least some registered uh, search volume, and we know that they are going to get more search volume than what this tool is saying. Here's a good one. The KD is only 18, and the search volume is high at 50. And for these kind of niches, uh, local niches, uh, you know, the lower, uh, lower numbers uh, still work really well for these niches. Now, if you're building a, a lose weight, um, how to lose weight type of niche website, then the, you know, 50 search volume may not be a keyword you want to go after. But in this case, in this type of website we're building, it is a really good keyword. So naturally, uh, what we could do is in order to find the best ones to go after right off the bat, we're going to put in some filters. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say cost per click. And the minimum is I want 10 cents. <clears throat> so it has to have at least a 10 cent cost per click. Okay. So we're looking at 25 keywords here, uh, right, right off the bat. Um, and then you can just select all of them. And we and they all have uh, the KD score is either non existent or an 18. So those are all good, we can add these keywords to our uh, report. Okay. And then once that's done adding, I'll show you we'll add some more, we'll add another layer of this, right. So what we'll do is we'll take off the filter. And then we'll go over to volume, and we want minimum of 10. And that sh will shrink this down by half probably of only 48 keywords. Okay. And then a KD, um, we want a max of 25 and push enter. And we're down to 13 keywords. Look at all these Prescott. And obviously auto detailing Prescott and auto detailing Prescott, a Arizona. So there's just a comma difference. Um, we're not going to create an article for both of those. We're going to create one really nice Prescott one. But for now, we can't see this check mark right here means that we already added that one. So that's cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of these to our list to auto detailing report. So we've got a nice list to get us going for the state of Arizona. That's how I would do um, keyword research and Ahrefs. Another thing that we could do is we can go over to writers End if you have a copy of writers End and go to their keyword explorer or their content cluster. So I'm going to log in real quick. And we're going to go in and use the topic discovery tool uh, to see how we can actually I'm going to go ahead and say auto detailing, auto detailing Arizona, and I'm going to say search just to see how it maps out the content for us. And I may do a um, kind of a test where I'm going to use the my old, the old traditional way of cr uh, creating all the pages uh, using just traditional keyword research like I just showed you in Ahrefs. Um, so we're going to start creating all these pages for Arizona. But one of the other states, I might come in here and actually do this and use writers in and not even care about what the competition is or anything like that. And just really see if we can get the uh, knowledge graph and the topic uh, keyword clustering uh, a certain way to see if uh, that has any impact in our rankings. So we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so this is what it looks like 67 topics were discovered. So detailing uh, <clears throat> Mohave or something like that, that is either a company, it's in Tucson, it looks like. So this gets really uh, specific, obviously Detroit. Um, but that is a the name of a company in there. So this is giving us some really good information on the actual companies that we could include in a best um, article or something like that. We've got like over here, this is great auto detailing pace and that could be the web page. And then these could be all of the keywords that we uh, put in there mobile auto detailing right here, Davis classic detailing auto mall mobile auto. So this will also give us some really specific keywords automotive Gilbert. Uh, let's see all these different keywords right here. Okay. And these are all high relevancy right here. 
And here is some some gold right here. Auto detailing Tucson, Arizona. Auto detailing uh, classes. Auto detailing Prescott, Yuma, uh, Phoenix, Mesa. Uh, auto detailing supplies in Arizona. Maybe a, a good place to pick up your supplies. Um, and there's some really good data in here. There's also related keyword researches right here. Cottonwood, Arizona, um, and Tempe, Arizona, all kinds of good stuff, okay? So you can just keep coming through here. So I think that this tool is very valuable as well. You can definitely use WriterZen uh, to do your um, research as well because if we come back over here and we just select, we can even go to the Keyword Explorer and say, Type in, um, type in your keyword auto detailing Arizona and push search. And then we're going to come back over here. We can look at trends and total search volume, keyword ideas. They're saying 200. And then right here is where we can come in here and get the estimated cost per clicks, the different keywords or the different, yeah, all the different keywords. And we have 213 results. Let's see if we can narrow this down with a key a golden filter right here. And I'm going to say confirm. We're going to use some golden uh, filters. It's going to go out there and get the golden score and the all in title. And we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so once it pulls up, what this tool does, it does an all in title search and it uh, gives us a golden score. And that's based on their own algorithm and uh, different factors uh, based on like the search volume, the uh, amount of links that are uh, going to the site. And then they kind of come up with uh, what they think um, is your best chances of ranking. Uh, so that what we can do is go back up to golden score and we can do a ranking probability or a by potential. And I like to see like, so there's 125 keywords we could go by right here. Um, and then it's also gonna say the SERPs position uh, right here. Um, as you move this up, the keywords are gonna go up. And as you move it down, the keywords are gonna go down. We can also go by uh, the potential value right here. And we could even shrink this down more to here if we wanted to. So I like this one by potential value. The cost per click is up. Average golden score is at 1.15, a little higher, but that's okay. Um, and there's less keywords and there's more search volume. So it's going to be a little bit more laser focused in my opinion. So now I'm going to push apply. So now look at on, on the all in titles. They're all very uh, low all in titles right here. And the golden scores are all really good as well. So this uh, gave us a lot of keywords to go for. And you know what? Honestly, surprisingly, this one really gave us more keywords than I even think Ahrefs gave us. I mean, Ahrefs gave us 200 something keywords, but it was able to narrow it down. We were able to narrow it down to a certain amount as well. Um, it's just a different way of doing keyword research, right? But these ones all are really, really good. Um, I think Kingman, let's see if Cardi Dale in Kingman, Arizona, I want to come back up over to here and take off all of these filters just for fun out of the 269 and I want to say include and Ahrefs didn't even pull in a Kingman for our general um, when we generally typed in auto detailing Arizona Ahrefs um, you know I like Ahrefs but even the best tool or uh, quote unquote the best tool on the market didn't even pull in Kingman but we did the exact keyword base keyword research um, and writers in and it found all kinds of goodies um, like the Kingman uh, as well. So this um, is a really good uh, start to our keyword research right here. So that's how I would go about doing the keyword research. Now, once you save your list, then obviously you, the work begins because now you have a ton of content to go out and write. So you want to join me in my next video. We're going to write and publish our first post on the site. I actually already have a post. Um, uh, created in one of my AI content uh, writers. I'll show you that. And then we'll write one and create one together. And then you want to subscribe. We're coming down to the, the end of the um, kind of the base of getting the site started. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We will create a little bit of content. We did the keyword research, right? Um, later on, um, I'll optimize the home page. You'll see how, you know, I'll give you updates later on. Um, after this next video, we'll do one more video and it'll be writing the first post. And then obviously I'll, maybe I'll do monthly updates on this. Um, you guys can see how the site starts uh, expanding and starts developing. Um, and then we will obviously want to design uh, our homepage and such. So you want to subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates with this case study. Drop a comment below uh, if you enjoyed uh, this case study all the way up until this point. Um, and the case study really begins, you know, six, five, six months down the road, maybe two months, hopefully, if we start getting content ranked, 
it'll be very exciting. I'll want to share that with you guys. And um, that's where the case study really comes in. I just wanted to build the site in front of you from scratch. And, um, and then I'll give you guys updates and such. All right. So uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. And the next video coming out uh, will come out probably tomorrow. And it'll be uh, writing and publishing our first post to the site. And then um, we will be doing some homepage setup design. Um, and then uh, I will probably just start creating content for the site. And then I'll give you guys updates. All right. Uh, take it easy.